named third for the ninth annual Texas Jam. The sun was out, the music was loud, and MTV Music News, of course, was there. Like a dream come true for me. The biggest crowd we've ever played for. And uh, when I was growing up, the Texas Jam was always one of the biggest, uh, biggest events of the year in rock and roll. A lot of people must have agreed with Ron Keel because over 72,000 fans sat in the Texas sun for 11 hours and 15 minutes. They were treated to high-powered sets by Keel, Crocus, Dio, Loverboy, Van Halen, and Bachman Turner Overdrive making their first tour in seven years. Our phone started ringing saying, CZ Top's here and Aerosmith is there and these guys are doing it. Would you come back and do a concert? And we said, sure. I mean, most bands are like actors and actresses. You sit around waiting for the phone to ring and somebody to offer you a part. For Dio, Texas Jam is the biggest show they've played with their brand new guitarist, Craig Gouldy. Change is always for the best, and uh, I think you find that if you get the right person within that change, it perks everyone else's spirits up. It's just nice to be part of a big event, a summertime event. Uh, I kind of like the intimacy of a smaller show myself, but it's nice to play outdoors. You see, stuff. that's what makes us different, because I like it. The more, the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> the more, the merrier. If we get 70,000 people out here, I'm happy. More than one band agreed it was the hard rock event of the summer. It's an event. It's like a Woodstock situation. I was there at Texas Jam number nine. I survived it, and I enjoyed it. It's a big party. Thank you. We love you. Right here, do this.